Welcome back everyone, my name is Lee from Lewis Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make keto condensed milk. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. It only takes three ingredients and it's so much better than the store brought stuff. So I'm doing some keto desserts today and I need some keto condensed milk today. And you can get it from the shops some places. Here in Australia, you're most likely not going to be able to find it online and it's going to be really expensive. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it today. Uh, it's only three ingredients and it's only going to take you like 15 minutes to do it. So yes, you can make it ahead and then you can put it into your fridge and have it ready to use for another time. So it's so easy to do and if you want to do a quick ice cream, then you can just mix that with some cream and some vanilla and Bob's your uncle. So I'm going to show you the ingredients and it's so easy. So firstly, I've got a cup of just thickened cream here. Then I've got half a cup of sweetener. So I'm using a, a, a Refitol and Stevia blend. If you want a really smooth ice cream, you could also use Elios, which also mimics sugar and makes a really smooth ice cream. But if you're not doing ice cream, just a plain Refitol and Stevia blend is completely fine. And then you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter. Pretty easy. So here I've just got a saucepan and we're gonna just add our cup of cream and you can scale this up as much as you want so for every cup of cream you can put half a cup of sweetener and two tablespoons of butter let's get all that cream out we can add a sweetener and then we're just going to add a butter so i have my heat my stove on a medium low heat i'm just going to get this on and then all we're going to do is we're going to wait for this erythritol to dissolve and this butter to melt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let it just boil just slightly. It's going to bubble up and everything. And it's going to thicken up and it's going to turn almost into just a, a runny condensed milk. And then once it cools down, it will turn right into a proper condensed milk and it comes out really good. So once it comes up to just a simmer. You just want to make sure that you give it a good stir every now and then, just to make sure nothing is catching on the bottom. And I'll show you the next step when it has completely thickened up. So as you can see now, it's starting to thick up now. Now you do want to be careful, especially if you are using allulose, because that actually does mimic sugar and it will caramelize. So I actually found out how to make caramel accidentally one day from overcooking my condensed milk. So now you can see this is now foaming up now and it's a real slower bubble almost like candy wise. It's not thick but when this cools down it will become the same consistency of the condensed milk. So what we're going to do is going to turn off the stove and we're going to let this sit here cool down slightly and then if we want to put it into the fridge we can pour it into a container and store it in there. So how easy was that? Now, depending on the sweetener you use, so I use a Rofitol in mine, you will find that it might crystallize a little bit and that's completely fine. Just give it a good stir and usually all that graininess will go out of it. This is gonna go into a key lime pie and it's so easy to make. So I'm gonna be using that today, but you can keep it in the fridge. Uh, if you like the Vietnamese iced coffee, this could go great in that. So I hope you give this a go and just, you're gonna save so much money and make it yourself. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a good old like. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.